Hello, my name's Wendy Turner Webster from the TV show Crafty Beggars, and spooky mama, it's nearly Halloween. So, I have got a bit of a spooky multimedia project uh, for you to make. It's really easy but effective. Um, I'm using an old shoebox lid, for instance, for this, a very crafty beggar esque. Uh, some duct tape, I did say duck. Cow that goes quack quack, some ribbon you might have lined around. Uh, this is a cooking mesh for kind of chips in the oven. I'm not sure, that's what it was labelled. I've never really used it as such, but there you go. Uh, very useful for crafting. And oh, the piece de resistance in this little project is the tree lights up. So I'm going to take you through how it's made. An unwanted shoebox lid makes a great base for your work of art. And because this project is freestyle, it's totally up to you as to how you want to position your tape and shiny paper. Try some jaunty angles or maybe tear the paper to add some texture. And here's that mesh that usually a pile of chips would sit on in the oven. Crumbs, now I'm starving. Oh, almost forgot this, a piece of random ribbon for added interest. The tree needed a bit of weight to it, so for that I stuck the tape onto some card. You can cut the tree freehand or grab a free download of a tree shape from the internet. Talking of free downloads from the internet, enter our Halloween cat, printed out and framed using offcuts from the tree. Oh yes, just perfect. Okay, now it's time to break open the toolbox and grab a screwdriver. I'm making 20 holes in the tree because I've got a string of 20 battery operated lights. By the way, I put a ball of kitchen foil underneath so as not to damage the table. Eek! Now turn over the box and push the lights through the holes. This takes a bit of time but it's worth getting right. Once you've done that, tape the battery pack into place so it doesn't wobble about. And finished. So there we are, and here it is, all ready to hang on the wall. Um, since that filming, I did find another little couple of bits to put on. I put on these little uh, mosaic tiles across the bottom, left over from doing up the kitchen. And I put some acrylic drops on the ribbon across the top. Um, yeah, and I'm really, really pleased with it. And the great thing is, it's freestyle, you really can't go wrong. So, thank you for joining me and Together TV on this Together for Good campaign. Creating things makes you feel better. Making things makes you happy. So, take it from me. Crafting is really good for mental health. So, if you haven't had a go yet, 
please do and celebrate this Halloween by something you've made yourself. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank my friends at Duct Tape for supporting me in this project and I'm really glad it's come out so well and I hope your efforts are really spectacular. See you next time.